Hey ladies, this is Erica Johnston and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be following Brad Mondo's air drying technique. And I'm so excited because for those of you who've watched my channel for a while, you know that I'm searching for ways to show my waves off without having any frizz. And all of a sudden I noticed Brad's video popped up on my feed. So I had to go and order his products instantly. <laughs> they came really fast and they came in this really adorable, shiny package. And let's take a look at what's inside. Ah, so excited. All right, we've got his Wave Tech Wave Foam and I ordered his Salty Sea Spray. Looks like the cap came off. So I did message the company and find out if these products are safe to use on gray hair and they got back to me right away and they said they are. So I'm very, very excited. So without further ado, let's follow his routine. Hi, beautiful. You look fabulous. Well, you look fabulous every day. Nothing new here. Thank you for being here though. You might be a seasoned vet on air drying your hair perfectly. You might be like, Brad, I already know everything there is to know about air drying my hair. Maybe not after today. You might also be that girl or that guy who says, no, 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 no. My hair gets frizzy. It's unruly. It gets nasty. I don't have any wave pattern. I'm here to tell you today that you are wrong. Anybody and everybody can air dry their hair and still have it look beautiful, glossy, shiny, wavy. And did I say perfect? Well, perfect. Of all my years doing hair, I've never come across one single person who can't be taught how to air dry their hair properly, effectively, and still have it look fabulous and gorgeous with absolutely no heat and very, very little effort. Now, this whole process involves having the right products and the right technique. If you're not using products to air dry your hair, <laughs> that's so embarrassing. I feel bad for you. And if you are and you're not getting the right effect you're looking for, maybe you're not using the right products and maybe you don't have the right technique. We're gonna review my three easy ways to air dry your hair. And we're also gonna review my three favorite products to air dry your hair. And things are gonna get spicy. <sighs> So by the end of this video, you'll be able to give yourself those perfectly, flawlessly defined beach waves at home. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's I'm ready. get into it. I want to preface this video by saying a few things to start. These three, three techniques can be used on any hair type or texture. It's up to you to try the three of them and see which one works best for you. Some people might really hate one of these things. It might really not work for your hair type, but I'm pretty confident all three of these will work for any hair type or texture. From my experience, it has, but hey, I've been proved wrong before. And now to really begin today, we're talking about a brand new Xmondo product. And and if you've followed us at X Model Hair on Instagram, you've seen it already and you know it is fabulous. It is called Salty Sea Salt Spray. Ah! She is so beautiful. Don't we just look so cute together? Like, hello? Put me on the cover of Vogue with Salty. Because we kill it together. And another product we'll be highlighting today is Wave Tech. I know a lot of you guys already have it and thank you. I appreciate everybody who have supported. It is our number one product right now. The reason why I wanted to bring up these two at the same time right now is because there is some confusion, not a lot, but some confusion on what the difference is between the two of these products. Now, just to review, Wave Tech is a wave forming product. You can use this on your existing curly hair or wavy hair. People with 4C hair, very, very tight, coily hair have used this product and found great results. People with straight hair can also use it to give themselves a bit of wave. Now, this waving product does an amazing job at forming new wave and defining existing wave. However, it has very, very little hold. It'll define your wave. It'll keep your wave there, but there won't be any sort of texture. It'll still be very soft, which I know a lot of you guys absolutely love that. And I do too. It's going to keep your hair bouncy. There's going to be absolutely no crunch and you're going to get those amazingly defined beach waves that you've been dying for with absolutely no frizz and you don't have to use heat with it. Now, personally, I use both of these products together pretty much all the time. I start with Wave Tech and finish with Salty. That way I get that extra wavy, wavy, beachy, beautiful look. However, the other differences are that this one adds a lot of texture. This one's going to keep your hair very bouncy and smooth. And Salty will give you a little bit more of a windswept kind of look, a little more disheveled, I a like little that. more textured, a little more of that surfer girl kind of look. But that. Wave Tech will give you a more soft, 
everyday kind of style. Now, because Wave Tech is a foam product, it's not as good for on the go moments, just because like if you actually are at the beach, you don't wanna put foam on your hand and then like scrunch your hair. I feel like that's kind of like a lot, but with Salty, it is a spray. It is a very fine mist. You can bring it on the go with you. It's very easy to use and then throw your hair up in a bun, let it down, have it be wavy. It's just a really easy product and very user friendly. I prefer to use Salty on the go and Wave Tech at home, but overall, both amazing products that can be used together or separately. And we'll go over more of that later. Those are the two main products I'll be using today that I wanted to highlight because they are gonna be very important to making these looks last and work properly. Tools needed for this. Your hands, some good products, wide tooth comb is great. And if you really wanna be extra, a few clips. You don't need a lot, but they are good to have for natural styling. Literally anybody could do this. Now, why don't we bring in my model for today, Miss Manny Quinn, and let's do the first look. Miss Manny Quinn, thank you for being here and being my friend. We're in love with each other. Oh my God, I think she actually loves me. What the f <laughs> Don't become too attached, Miss Manny Quinn, because one day I'm gonna throw you away, but I love you. Thank you for like being in my videos with me. As you can see, her hair is air drying pretty quick. That's just because her hair has a lot of chemicals in it. For these looks, I would definitely make sure your hair is prepped and washed and clean and ready to go. I would also just make sure that your hair is not dry. I would also say that if your hair tends to be very frizzy, make sure you're starting off with your hair quite wet, like 95% wet and like just slightly towel dried real quick on those ends, just so it's not dripping. But you do want it to be pretty wet when you are doing natural hair hairstyling, what will happen with the towel is you'll get a lot of frizz. Now, if you really do want to towel dry your hair a lot, try using a microfiber towel that will help decrease the amount of frizz you I have with the towel. Also try using a paper towel. I know that's kind of weird, but when I've done perms, I've used paper towels to dry their hair. That way it doesn't get at all frizzy. Grab some paper towels and really scrunch with it. And it tends to not rough up the cuticle or get any frizz in the hair. So important that you prep your hair correctly for these hairstyles. Don't scrub your hair with a towel. Don't ever do that. But especially not when you're doing a natural hairstyle like this. Everybody has a tiny bit of a wave pattern. I would comb out your hair very gently, not with this, but with a wide tooth comb, maybe even wider than this would be better for you, but just comb it out, get those knots out. And this is how we are going to prep for all of these styles. Just getting those knots out, not stressing the hair too much, not putting too much effort into the comb, just making it look nice in the top. Less is more with natural hairstyling. We're gonna call this first method, the scrunch method. Oh my God, that's groundbreaking, Brad. I've never scrunched my hair before. Shut up. Even if you scrunched your hair before, you probably aren't doing it correctly. For this first method, we are using Wave Tech. We are also using Salty. I always apply Wave Tech with a comb. It's just so much easier this way. You don't get it on your hands. Wave Tech is a very airy foam. And I feel like it's just more effective when you use a lot of it. It smells so divine. Japanese cherry blossom, bergamot, white butterfly jasmine. It is the most delicious smell ever. What I'm doing is just combing this through the top of her hair. I'm also going to just section off a little bit so underneath good. here and make sure the product is distributed underneath her hair as well as on top. Just gonna get a little bit more. I usually just do like four pumps. And honestly, it's gonna look like you just shampooed your hair and didn't wash it out. That's when you know you used enough of this. You know, don't be shy to use a ton of this product. Do you hear this? That's when you know you put enough wave tech in. And we're gonna do the same thing all around her head, just going on the underneath. Beautiful application. All the product is raked through the hair. This will work for people with 4C, very curly hair. Now I wouldn't necessarily comb it all through like I just did. You can actually just do it with your hands and just get it through your hair. You do not have to comb it through. I like to work in four quadrants. So that's from ear to ear and down the middle of the back. Pick up her hair and scrunch it. We're getting wave already. You see that? We're just being gentle with it though. We're not like, like that's how girls do it and it drives me nuts. You'll get better waves with less frizz if you're more gentle with it. So we're gonna go all the way to the ends with that same technique and just adding texture. There's no frizz at the top and if there is, please get it down before it air dries because that will not be cute. Again, Wave Tech is going to give you 
very, very light hold, but it's going to define your waves. I know that's a kind of a weird mixture, like it doesn't have hold, but it also defines. But once you use it, you'll understand. If your hair isn't sort of turning out like this, you can go in and take pieces, wrap them around your finger, take it off your finger like this, and drop it down. See? how defined that wave is now. That will work on a pin straight hair. So easy, so chill. Sometimes I like to combine both of those techniques where I scrunch it, then maybe in the front, I will give her some nice defined waves, or I won't do this at all. I'll just scrunch the whole thing. That's looking splendid. I love it. Now let's do the next one. We're going up, scrunch, down. We're going up, scrunch. Down. I love the way it looks. I don't think it needs a lot more. I think it's pretty chill, but we can always just fake having a little bit more wave with just a few of these on top. I want you guys to love your natural hair. I really do. That is my goal today. I know it's possible for everybody to love their natural hair. This looks perfect to me. There's no frizz. She has beautiful definition around her face and it is a great beachy look. So you guys could totally leave it there and let it air dry or you could do one last step. I like to use these little flat clips like this or you can use any kind of clip really. I'm gonna use these today because it doesn't leave a crease in her hair. If you guys are lacking volume and you really wanna add some volume in there easily, check out Electrified, it'll be linked below. It's my volumizing foam, it is incredible. Can't stress that enough, holy shit. It gives you so much volume. Okay, now that her hair's all pinned in place, let's let her air dry and I'll come back and show you how to finish off the look. All right, so I'm gonna leave this and then we'll see what happens. All right, ladies, so I'm back and this has literally taken me almost four hours to dry and it's still not like 100% dry, but I'm really impressed with the curls. Okay, so let's keep going and we'll watch the next part of Brad's lesson. And she's back. So you can tell that she has this volume still. Also, this beautiful wave. It looks stunning. She has a very natural wave. This is not going to look like you use a curling iron. Sometimes people think natural wave is ugly. I personally think it's beautiful. It's very irregular. As you can see, there is a beautiful amount of shine. There's no frizz and her wave is beautifully defined all over. However, I want to kind of finish this off a little bit more with a few products. I am going to add some salty in here to give her a little bit more peaciness. It looks pretty. It's really soft, but I want to add more texture and more definition to these waves because that's how I like it. So I'm just gonna spray this and just scrunch. See how this is just adding that extra bit of definition we were lacking? I'll do one side. You can also spray your hand, then use I love on the, the hair. Smell of this. Beautiful. Cool. That is what it looks like with salty in there. Now it'll dry just like that if you let it and it'll help define the look. And that is the before again and this is the after again. As you can see, it's a lot more defined, even more than before and salty really emphasized the way we put in there previously with Wave Tech. Again, they work amazing together. That is some beautiful natural wavy hair. So I just wanna say thank you so much to Brad Mondo for his air drying video and for his amazing products. I've purchased these products all on my own. I'm not being compensated by making this video. Just want you to know. So all these opinions and everything like that are mine. And as you can see, I got some amazing results and I don't have the crunch, which is very exciting. Anyways, hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more hair tutorials, let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, bye for now.